What up? It's your boy from Incredible Vanity. Yes, I'm back at it again. And after episode one, I could not not do episode two because there was so much going on, so much that my mind was trying to process and understand. And I and I also understand why you guys were in such of a rush for me to drop and go ahead and dive into season two because season two is absolutely crazy. And I love every single minute of it. And this has only been episode one. So let's get into episode two, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes So we're going back three months ago He has two G in drives That's, that's why it's, uh, this episode was titled, uh Twin drive. <gasps> oh, so it's not ready yet. Man, I want to see it in action. I want to see it in action. He was. He was. He is. He is, man. I mean, he's Lockron's brother, so I'm willing to to trust him right off rip. So he's a part of the Catherian people. So the A-Laws is the Federation and everybody combined together. And Katharion wants to stop them from taking over the whole world. So they're bringing anybody with prior experience in fighting Celestial Being and the original Gundams. So they're trying to pad their roster so when they do fight uh, Katharion and uh, Celestial Being. Without them, you'd be dead. What? And they work for the government. You have on the ship. Are they gonna make up for it? That's true. Oh, Saji, the world's not black and white. Miss Sudanagi. Okay, okay, yeah, they need they need their strategist back. So she she's pretty upset because her plans led to a couple people's death last season. So I couldn't pick up Celestia being. No, no, no. Her code name is Sumeragi Lee Noriega. That's what I'm talking about. He didn't know that she was a part of Celestial Being. They were just friends. Is he gonna join um Celestial Being? That's true. I'm glad he's finding out the information though. Because he kept jumping the gun thinking Celestial Being done that and they didn't. Basically, they were all a part of uh Alejandro and Ribbon's plan. And she's working for the same people that was trying to kill you. I'm glad he's finding out the information now, though. We got a better plan. Well, not a better plan, but a bigger plan. Because you guys started this, so you got to fix it. It's not lock on. Well, it is. The new lock on. So he's a double agent. He's working with them to try to help Katherion. Yeah, they are very on the verge of coming a dictatorship to run around killing people for no reason. They don't even have proof. They just assume. And next thing you know, they start killing people. Oh. They're going to take her too? Wait, wait, wait. She's royalty. They can't do that though, can they? So Ribbons has his own personal attack unit and everything too? The A-Laws. 
the Catherion and Celeste Uvin. This is a full-fledged fight. So Louise is working for Ribbons. But I'm assuming they don't know that they're working for Ribbons. Do they? Wait, 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 wait. It says the A-Laws know their location. So Ribbons runs the A-Laws. Tieti is the only one that can fight though, right? He's the only one that has a gun a Gundam. <laughs> Pretty lean group you guys are running here. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, this ain't what y'all want. This ain't what y'all want. GM Bazooka. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. But I don't care nobody say Sesson is the man. Double O Gundam. Don't get up in there. Go oh, get up in there. That's your Gundam. That is your Gundam. I don't know. That may that may actually let it sync up and um The old Gundam is here, baby! And Exia! Get it! Y'all don't want none! Oh wow! Look at that! Now we know that old girl released their information. Uh huh. That's what you get, Ribbons. That's what you get. My boy Setsner don't play. <laughs> come on, come on, man, come on. They don't want none. Look at that movement. One shot. One shot. It don't matter. Sesame uses the sword. This is our Gundam. Sesame is a straight monster. What you mad for? Huh? Why you mad? That's what you get, Ribbons. She still look like she down in the dumps. That's not what he is lock on now, but well, we knew she was gonna feel some type of way, and he's pissed because he found out. See, okay, now I was pissed off at her at first, but now I kind of understand why she done it. Hallelujah! Oh man. So they're rescuing Hallelujah next week. I mean, I mean, in the next episode. Hallelujah rescue operation. Okay, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I constantly see, and I'm only two episodes in, I see the need and the urgency for you guys wanting me to dive into season two because season two, it started off in a... I, I can't even find the words I want to use to describe how awesome this is. And I love it. I love it. Now, um, this episode, um, it was pretty lax, if you ask me, because um, it was just um, kind of like a regrouping episode. And then at the end, we got into a full-fledged fight. And it was a little informative. We see that the... Uh, what's her name? I can't... The mannequin chick, she now has joined the A-Laws um, little group along with Graham, um, the super soldier chick, uh, the colonel, and his son. So there's a whole bunch of people on the A-Law's um, official roster now, and I feel like they padded their roster with a bunch of people that can that actually has fault um, Celestia being in Gundams before, and then they just padded it with a whole bunch of other people. But the thing is, the A-Law's, I feel like they're kind of controlled by ribbons. I don't know if it was just that one section that was um, in outer space that's controlled by ribbons or the whole A-Laws themselves are controlled by ribbons. I feel like it's the whole unit itself. And we see that, um, what's her name? Louise is working with them. So much stuff is going on, man. Um, Lock, Lock on's uh, brother joined Celestial Bean, but he's kind of like a semi-double agent, um, hoping that he can get Celestial Bean to help out Catharion. 
Catharion is fighting the uh, government. Celestia Bing is deciding to fight the A-Law's government because they feel like it's their fault uh, that this is all taking place. And they've become like a dictatorship. And they've decided to kidnap random people. They kidnapped the princess that um, knows Setsuna. So a lot of stuff is going down in just the first two episodes. And the only thing I'm I'm still worried about in the back of my mind is we still haven't seen um, Ali Al Sanchez. We haven't seen him yet. And I know he's going to come in and we know he loves war. He loves to kill people. So we haven't seen him yet. And we see that um, the chick that uh, helps with Celestia being kind of putting them in a test to see if they were combat ready. And we see that the redhead chick is working with her. And Saji learned about the Thrones and what really happened to Louise. So a lot of stuff is going down and I'm super excited. And I can't wait to check out the next episode because we're going to rescue Alleluia. This was incredible, man. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash any more. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. Remember, the anime matters. Anime is greatness. Anime is life, man. Peace out.